The biggest issues I see when buying or selling real estate in Roatan, Honduras, and it all comes back to it's really, really important with who you decide to work with. We are not all the same. I obviously am highly biased and thank you for watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. It's there, just like any transaction you do anywhere in the world, there can be issues. Um, I'm a broker in the Colorado. Everything's online. It's really, really easy to find things and get things done and I can get it done in, I don't know, maybe an hour. In Roatan, Honduras, I don't know anything that can be resolved in an hour, um, especially if you need paperwork or documents or anything of that nature so and the thing is issues are going to arise and when you choose when which is why it's so important to work with the right person a person that one isn't going to go away uh half the videos on on this channel are actually just kind of help guys with roatan what do you do this or how do you do this and it's not really super real estate related but a realtor is like kind of your your way into Roatan and kind of figuring out how things are, how things work, um, and just having us, well, one of our benefits is all, when you work with us or when you work with a, a realtor, you get all of our connections too. And so Roatan is very much an island that's not just, uh, it's not what you know, it is who you know, especially when you deal with issues. So the biggest issues that I see there, um, with buying and selling is gonna come down to, well, your documents. Were your documents done properly? Is your name spelled correctly? Because that is a simple little tag on a contract in Colorado uh, where you can auto, auto change this. You give title the right to change. Hey, they put an I instead of a T or something of that nature. There's a little checkbox in that contract that says, yes, you can automatically do that. We don't have that little automatic button, so, when you work with a realtor, you wanna make sure that they're going to be with you from the beginning all the way to the end and the many, many years that are going to be in between and little things like changing your name from Daniel to David or vice versa can actually take months. Um, so you wanna make sure all the paperwork is done on the buy side correctly the first time. Uh, in case it is not, it is gonna kinda bite you when you try to sell it because you can't sell it unless all the paperwork is accurate and no one's gonna list your property or should not list your property unless everything is done and accurate the first time. So little typos like that when you're buying can create, they're not dr dramatic, they're not, they're annoyances that will take <laughs> months to fix even though you're like, that is such a minute little detail. It will screw up the transaction when you try to sell. So you wanna make sure you're working with someone and you're gonna get it done at the beginning. You're gonna get it right, done right the first time. Next is with title. You wanna make sure all of the title, the title is free and clear before you buy or sell. And this could, this is actually not really not that hard to, but it does take a little bit of work, um, especially if there is some kind of mixed up dots and it's not a super straight line. It might not have been registered and done all the proper things over the last 20 years or so. But you wanna make sure that the title is done and you're working with someone that does it correctly, including the, uh, the, the, the closing attorney or the real estate attorney because you want to make sure you have that nice clean paper trail and you also want to make sure the municipal records and tax tax records including registration are also clean um, and it might seem like a lot there are four things that just need to be done and accurate um, from the get-go and you want to it's basically creating a, an accurate paper trail uh, when you buy so then if anything does come up uh, squatters rights or any claims or anything of that nature which we do have in the United States and in Canada but we they're not they're just a, they're not really common here but they're more common than in the United States. I've never had to deal with any of that um, being licensed up in the US, but here it has come up um, as a topic uh, more than once, um, at least once a year. So just, just things to think about and you wanna make sure that it is all done correctly at the beginning because even something that, and if someone tells you, oh, it's not a big deal, it's a small error, it, it doesn't matter, I would get a second opinion on that one. Uh, the people that I work with, we would never say any of those things because, well, the first time I bought land in Roatan back over 10 years ago, 
Um, I worked with an attorney that said, eh, don't worry about it. But then, um, you know, Daniel's name ended up turning into David and it took six months for us to fix that. And then to get the stocks for our business were never issued and then we had to reissue them, but then they were never issued the first time. And it, it ended up taking six months and around $2,000 to fix that. That little, well, the name error, uh, which was not, you know, Daniel to David, and then the stock certificates for, for the business. So there's a lot of really little details that can um, might seem trivial and they would matter. And in the United States, they don't matter because there's that little checkbox in the contract to buy and sell real estate. Um, However, we do not have that. So just that's that's the biggest thing to keep in mind when you are buying, you wanna make sure all those minute details, it might seem insignificant. I mean, you know, your first name is kind of important, but things, you know, things of that nature do need to be done right the first time. The last thing is making sure that you also wanna make sure your taxes are correct. And if for some reason you have not forgotten or you've forgotten to pay your taxes or you didn't pay your taxes or heck, the seller didn't, the previous owner didn't pay their taxes. You wanna make sure all of that is done upfront at the very beginning. But if you do forget and you do close, uh, you do wanna be able to fix that. We do have some amnesties. You wanna work with an agent that understands the amnesties, understands the new rules, understands the new deadlines. I know it's a deadline, it's, we're on island time. But these deadlines are real and there's usually little to no exceptions and you don't actually, you don't even wanna go the day of the deadline because it's just, life is not gonna go super well for you. So it's, it, it's all in the details and it's really all about who you work with in Roatan and little, those little details um, do, do very much matter and can cost you, you know, a couple thousand dollars and months of your time. And when you want to sell quickly, that can be, um, well, an annoyance that it would be nice if you could avoid.